everybody. Welcome back to Musings by Nikki. This is Nikki. I am here today with a couple of new digital kits. Um, digital, digital journal kits. Goodness sake. Um, these are, these have both been in my store for about a week, I want to say. Um, but I just haven't been able to film and I'm going to do I have a couple of journals to film today. I have, um, if you've been following along on my channel at all, I have uh, my niece had her baby and we're going this weekend to um, meet the baby and give her her book. So um, I'm gonna give a flip through of that. And um, then I'm gonna do some craft with me uh, stuff for a design team project for Tracy. So I've got a lot of videos that I'm gonna shoot. It's spring break for me, um, so hopefully this week I'll have some good time in my craft room to do some of that. But without further ado, so this video isn't forever long, I'll catch you up in the craft with me. We'll chat then. But right now, um, I'm going to show you these two kits. So they're uh, one is much bigger than the other. So let's see. We'll start with this one. We'll start with this one. This one is called Shabby Lovely. Ooh, geez, throwing them all over. Shabby Lovely. It has 10 papers and three pages of ephemera. And it is just kind of a lovely floral, oh, lacy, kind of just randomness. There's some birds like you can see. Anyway, butterflies and stuff. We'll just get through it. It's kind of a shabby spring kind of journal. Um, although this, you know, like as with almost any kit, you can use them on all kinds of different, in all different ways. So, um, here's the first paper. So I'm, I'm not sure how close to hold these, but anyway, um, that's the first, here's the second. So there's just a lot of, um, layering. When I get into digital kits, I love layering. So there's lots of layers of stuff, frames and those are all layered on top of things. Here's the next one with some cute buttons and feathers and frames around things, postcards in the background. Here's the next one. This one looks really cute when it's folded in half. It's like two really nicely framed pages. Here is the next page. So there's a lot of script in the back of these as well. Um, and a hummingbird. Hummingbirds remind me of my grandma, my mom's mom. She had hummingbirds everywhere. And then here is another, the next page. There's some lovely florals. Here's another page. This frame around the butterflies and a little pear and then some doily and a safety pin and little dragonfly flying around up there. Here is another page. This one's got a little banner. Um, bird's nest, some, you know, stuff in the background and a book page. Then here, this is kind of a little less busy page. I mean, it's still got <laughs> less busy. It's still got a ton of layering, but you could use it as a background page or, you know, a back a backing page if you wanted. And then same with this one. It's just um, got frames, but you could totally journal all over it. So that's that. Those are the pages. Those are the papers. And then there are three pages of ephemera, and I've printed them out two ways. So I've printed them out on white uh, just regular white paper, but I also like to um, print my ephemera on ivory cardstock. So I've also done that because um, when I use this kit, I will use it with the, on ivory cardstock. So this is what it looks like. Um, you get a couple of library cards. These are some, you know, you can cut these out and use them as border trims or tear them and use them in collaging. Just some pieces of embellishment. This can be a journal card. Some words that you can use in collaging as well with some of these pieces. Um, and then here's what that looks like printed on ivory cardstock. And then here's the next one. Here's some just journaling cards, um, more embellishment. This is a corner pocket here and a little banner. And here is what that looks like printed on ivory cardstock. 
lovely. I think it, um, I think it just kind of adds to the vintage feel of things, you know. And then here is a page with some tags, some tickets. Uh, this could be, this could just be an embellishment. It could be at the top of a page and you could tuck up into it. Um, here's some larger tickets and another little embellishment. You know, you can use these kind of however you want to. Um, and then here's what that looks like printed on ivory cardstock. So that one is Shabby Lovely. Like I said, 10 papers, three pages of ephemera in that kit. Then the next one was so much fun and I couldn't stop myself. So it has 14 papers, four pages of ephemera and a little mini book. And I'll show you that at the end. Um, but this is called The Farmer's Wife. And let me make sure I'm still totally in shot here. Okay, I think so. Um, totally kind of inspired by... Um, I made a couple of, of like farm country journals and I loved making them and I will, I can't wait to make this into a book, this kit, um, but kind of inspired by a farmer's wife, right? So farmers are out in the field doing all the things all day long and they are very hard workers. We know some farmers, uh, you know, my dad is a pastor up north uh, in Minnesota and there are some, a lot of farmers around where he lives and, um, and they are just, they are hardworking people. <laughs> um, but also, you know, behind every good man, there's a good wife or woman. So um, farmer's wives are like multifunctional, wonderful, hardworking women as well. So I kind of thought through what are some of the things, you know, that are involved in a farmer's wife's life um, and put together kind of a vintage image kit around that. So country living, farm, you know. Um, so there's going to be layered in the background of this. There's a lot of like ledger, um, you know, this is like a cheese and butter um, voucher. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. Anyway, I'll just let you look. <laughs> this is the first paper in the kit. Here's the next one. It's a lot of baking. So here's, you know, baking breads. Here is, um, here are some, so just some images of animals and a beautiful sunflower and butterflies, cows, of course. Here's another one. This is, maybe that's her husband, huh? This makes you, this makes me think of you, Terry. This makes me think of you, T, my friend. Hello. She has a horse and she loves to post pictures of them. <laughs> This is always this at that page makes me think of you. Here is um, the little maybe this is the little farm daughter, right? And she's collecting strawberries and she has a cat because what is a farm without at least one cat? Usually way more, right? And uh, here's some flowers she maybe picked out of her garden and she's having a cup of coffee or tea. Gingham layered in the background, a lot of gingham and plaid layered. Um, roosters and uh, hens and eggs. We're enjoying some homemade or homemade. <laughs> We're enjoying some uh, farm fresh eggs from my sister-in-law right now. They're so good. She raises chickens up north. Here is the quintessential, you know, barnwood print with the animals standing on top of each other. Like I'm sure you would go into the farm and find this, right? <laughs> Here is a, a bright um, image of a bunch of seed packages and kind of veggies and stuff. Um, I'd imagine that she's, uh, while he's growing crops out in the field, potentially she's got a, a garden full of veggies and stuff. So there's that. Here, um, this page is kind of canning, and there's some canning labels down here and uh, an embroidered or cross-stitched little home sweet home. And then here is some a sewing kit and some sewing patterns and stuff, um, doing mending and sewing. Some more roosters and um, wheat and lots of layering again, some bumblebees and stuff like that. Here is kind of a faded background, just, um, farm image of some different animals. 
And that would definitely be a nice um, center of a signature. You could use it that way as well. This one also, um, this will definitely be when I do my book, this will be the center of a signature right here. This gorgeous image. Then this could be um, just some weathered barn wood with some cute little daisies. This could be a background page as well that you back the pages with when you print them. Or it's a pretty separate page as well. Here's some lined page for um, journaling with a chicken and a horse again. And then I printed a couple of the pages out on vellum. So let's see if I flip it over like this, you can see. I'm kind of into this printing on vellum thing right now. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This faded out horse image looks really cool on vellum. That would be just really pretty um, in the book that way. And then I also printed the daisy one. So, you know, when you fold it over, it's kind of double bang for your butt because you um, get the image then on both sides like that. So, and then I also did the garden one on vellum. So again, when you fold it over, you can kind of see that through. And they just, they look cool printed on vellum. So, there's that. These I did not print out onto um, ivory cardstock simply because I had run out of it at the time and I only had one sheet and so I didn't do it. But <laughs> I will do when I um, make this book, the, they'll be printed on an ivory cardstock. So here are just some larger journaling cards, um, a little postcard down here and then a couple of mini tags down here with herbs and a um, little ice water pitcher, some a coffee grinder, and some jars, canning jars. Here are a couple of like seed envelope type things, and then just some round oval um, embellishments that you can cut out and layer with, you know, these would look really cute with some cheesecloth or even put over a piece of gingham or something, muslin. Um, then these are, here's a couple of words down here, and then these are pockets. So these um, will fit, you know, the width of a paper. Um, and they're made to kind of be layered as well. So you can cut this small pocket out and stick it on here, and then it becomes kind of a double pocket. This one fits down here, and this one fits over here, but you could mix and match them. You could put them wherever you wanted to. You can use these completely separate if you want. It's up to you. You can use it however you want. Um, here's kind of a long piece of wider washi or you know border for along the edge of a page. These are a few just journal cards, and then here are two corner pockets, um, tuck spots that you can put into the book. And then lastly, here's the little um, farmer's yearbook. So it's this is the cover, and then these three pages fit in there, and they have, you know, just interesting things. I was kind of inspired by an actual antique farmer's, um, a, an actual vintage one that I have, farmer's yearbook. Um, so, you know, here you're keeping track of the crop records, receipts, your breeding record, egg records, and then just some um, ta tables of uh, reference here. So I cut one out and here's what it looks like. So cute. Here's what it looks like in when you staple it all together. So you can do it this way and then there will be more pages and there will be a blank page next to this or you could print two of these out you know and back them the other thing i thought is nick the booksmith right now well a little while ago had i printed out a separate one she has um those mini books oh my gosh they're super amazing if you've watched them and you know what i'm talking about those little mini books that she's making oh, look at my inky hands um they're so adorable they're amazing it's you should just go check it out. But the way she's doing it, instead of doing like this, I thought this is totally inspiration of her, but you could do kind of glue them together the way that she's doing it, which would be um, gluing two pages back to back. So like this. So you take your pages, fold them in half, and then stack them like this. 
And then you would glue each of the white pages together. So you'd glue these two white pages together. So then when you flip it, you're just going to have, and of, this is of course not matched up or anything, but you would just have those. So you could do it that way as well if you wanted to. Um, and then, then it would just truly be only like the, there you go, the little pages of the thing. Anyway, up to you, but you get this cute little farmer's yearbook to go in there. This is printed on regular paper. This is on matte um, high quality resolution or high, high quality, uh, whatchamacallit, oh my gosh, presentation paper. <laughs> um, I kind of like it on the regular old paper better. It looks a little brown or this looks a little oranger. Anyway, just shows you the difference of what regular old paper, you know, what they can do that way, what printing your kits out does. So I'm yabbing. Um, here you go. Here are the two new kits. They are in my shop right now. Shabby Lovely, the farmer's wife. Oh, I just banged my, look at that. Can you see that? <laughs> my light must just be barely plugged in. Anyway, <laughs> I need to go. I'm going to go film some more videos and I'll probably get more and more silly the more that I film. So go check these out. They're in my shop. Thank you for all your support. Um, and I will see you very soon again. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.